Welcome to this series of short video tutorials on Calibration Toolbox ADO, Calibration Management Software. In this tutorial we're going to concentrate on the pipette calibration facility. This enables you to calibrate pipettes efficiently, accurately, quickly and easily. So what we're going to do is run Calibration Toolbox ADO and log in with our unique username and password. Your system administrator will provide these for you and you can change the password whenever you like. The first thing you're going to see then is the device summary screen which will show you how many devices there are in the database, how many of those are inactive, how many will require calibration within a certain range of days, those whose calibration dates have expired and finally those whose entries don't have a next calibration due date. So once you've taken all that in you can close the window down you can return to it anytime you like by going to the main tools menu and clicking the first item on the list which is the summary screen and there it is. So we'll close that window down and we're now looking at the main display table. It's listing every device on the database. If you look now as I'm scrolling down the pane on the bottom right hand corner is updating itself to show details of the device I've chosen. You can scroll down using either the down arrow key or the mouse or the mouse wheel and as you can see as I'm going down the display is changing. You're going to see things like the instrument serial number, the customer who, who's got it, the contact for the customer, the calibration dates, the test plan, all of the information that you'd expect from a well-maintained calibration management database. The barcode number, by the way, is an automatically generated system tag. You don't have to worry about that. The toolbox takes care of it for you. Now, you might not want to have to see all of the devices in the database. For example, you might want to see devices whose calibrations fall due on a particular set of dates. So here we are, we're doing that by clicking the By Date tab. We've chosen the next Calibration Due tab uh, option. And what we're going to do is find all of the devices who require calibrating in the last week of January 2015. So we're setting our From and To dates using the date selectors. You can also specify 30, 60 or 90 days as a preset option, but in this case we are using the specify option. We've clicked the search button and like I said, there are the number of devices who require calibration in the last week of January 2015. You might also want to be able to see all of the devices in a particular category. For example, customer, test plan, device type, location, department, all those sorts of things. Now you use the by category tab for that and the first drop down contains the categories that you can choose from. When you select any of them, the entries in that category appear in the drop down list below. So what we're going to do now is we're going to locate all the devices of a particular type. Click the search button and there, the, there they are. There's only three of them, but that's it. So there we are, all of them by category and by date. So now what we're going to do is, is open up an individual device's detailed calibration record. You can use a barcode scanner if you wish, but you can also type in the, the number, serial number, certificate number, whatever you need. Type it in down there and we're looking for AS510. As we type in, it goes to it. And we either double click the orange line or we click the view edit button, which is right in the top left hand corner. You'll get used to your own way of working. We're going to click the button for the time being and this is going to open up the device's detailed calibration record. So the first thing we're going to see is the core data. Core data is information about the particular device, more to do with asset management. What it is, where you got it from, who's got it now, when it wants calibrating, how often it wants calibrating. But do bear in mind that all of this is totally configurable in Calibration Toolbox. You can see pretty much exactly what you want to see. The various pages are, appear on different tabs. You can hide or show whatever you need. We've also got um, 
the calibration data, which you'd expect to see from a pipette calibration as found as left, the, the water weights that were recorded and the volumes that were calculated from the Z or Z factor based on temperature, humidity and pressure. Very importantly, we maintain a record of the equipment used in the calibration for traceability and various other pieces of information, all relating to the calibration. Also, because calibration toolbox isn't just for pipettes, we can, we can support other information as well, such as portable appliance testing, if need be.